first of all, you want to uh, turn on your Instant Pot and let it start getting warm and add a couple of um, tablespoons of olive oil. I've already put some in there. We'll let that get hot. And the rest of the items we have, I have um, one pound of sausage. I'm using the Hillshire beef sausage. A small chopped onion, um, a two chicken breasts, uh, three cuts of chicken broth, and um, I just use um, three cups of water with three teaspoons of better than bouillon chicken. It's really good. Got a cup and a half of rice and Worcestershire, sriracha, garlic, Cajun seasoning. Um, Rotel tomatoes and eight ounces of tomato sauce. This is really easy and it doesn't take that long. The most time you'll find is uh, browning your meat. And I need salt also. Put it on saute to let it get hot. So we'll let that come up to heat and then we'll start browning our sausage. And I'm using one pound of beef sausage, any brand that you like, or any kind, it doesn't have to be beef. And we're just waiting for that to stay hot. All right, my Instant Pot says hot. All right, and now I wanna put my sausage and get it to browning. I want a good sear on it. And I'm going to also put in my chicken breasts. Now you don't have to do this step, but I do like it to have that little bit of a sear on it. And I'm going to add the chicken. And I'm gonna just put a little bit of salt on that for it to cook. I'm not adding pepper because we're gonna have that tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. While that's been started going, I'm going to go ahead and add in my chopped onion. And let that cook. And get soft. And you can add bell pepper also, but I'm out of bell pepper. And I'll be back. Okay, it's been cooking for a little bit. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of minced garlic. Now, if you really want a good sear, and it's what I usually do, and that's I brown my sausage first, take it out, then brown my chicken and take it out. Because the water in the chicken kind of stops the sausage from getting this brown. But it's all going to steam in the Instant Pot, so it'll taste good anyway. Like I said, you don't even have to brown it if you don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and add my can of diced tomatoes. My 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. My 3 cups of chicken broth. And like I said, I use better than bouillon. Give it a good whiff. regular chicken broth. I just homemade chicken broth. I'm going to give it a good salting to taste. I just use, I guess I do about a teaspoon. Um, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Okay, it's going, this is a little spicy. That's why it's so good. And I need one and a half cups of white rice. I'm 
some people rinse their rice and you're more than welcome to do that if that's what you like. But that's not something I was ever raised to do, so. Whatever makes you happy. Um, and I need two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Sriracha or hot sauce of your choice. We usually do sriracha. All right. Just give it a good stir. Make sure I've got everything. I've got my chicken, sausage, onion. And now all you have to do is put your lid on. Make sure it's to steam and not denting. And you need to cut this, cut it off for the saute function. And then hit it back on. And we need to cook this for sorry, eight minutes. Eight minutes. So you just cut it off. Just hit manual. And let me go up to eight minutes and it'll come up to pressure it'll probably take about five to ten minutes to come up to pressure and then it'll cook for eight minutes and then it'll be ready see you then all right it's starting to cook and now we just have to wait for it to count all right my instant pot went off and i'm gonna kind of ease it up. and you just turn it to this and then the steam will come out about time to drop the pin. There she went. Oh, it smells good. Good. So now I need to get the lid back on and get my cornbread going. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. I'll have more recipes and I'll try to get some more instant pot recipes. Till next time, bye.